Next time you reach for a glass of wine, look at the bottle. Why is there an indentation on the bottom? It's called a punt. So sit back with a glass of vino as we check out a little piece of drinking history. The wine bottle punt. Those indentations on the bottom of your bottle doesn't mean you're getting less vino, but there are several different stories as to its use. Most agree it's a holdover from earlier times when bottle makers would have to manually blow air through a tube to shape the hot glass into bottle form by making the indentation. The tube could easily be removed and not damage the bottle, otherwise the glass blower would have to start all over again, potentially wasting more glass, time, and money. You know the boss is not going to go for that. There are a few other uses for the punt. However, there's something I thought I'd never say. It helps the bottle stay more stable when standing upright. It also increases the strength, allowing the bottle to hold high pressures of sparkling wines. It also allows sediment deposits to consolidate at the bottom of the bottle and not in your glass. It also allows the bottles to easily be stacked end to end. That also prevent them from smashing when being transported on ships, trains, and trucks. It also helps winemakers to clean the bottles easier. A high pressure stream of water will hit the punt and distribute the water more evenly across the bottom, removing residues. It helps chill the wine faster as well. It allows a little extra space for ice to get up inside the bottle when being held in that wine bucket. There is also an urban myth that some bars back in the old days would have a pin protruding vertically on the bar and the punt of the empty wine bottle will be slammed onto it, puncturing the bottle, guaranteeing that it could never be used again. So there you go, drink up knowing that you're armed with the knowledge as to what the wine bottle's pun is for. Hopefully you land that question as the Daily Double on Jeopardy. You know, when you hear the word punt, you always think of football. You never think of a wine bottle. I once had an uncle punt, too, and uh, he had nothing to do with wine and was not a wine maker, but he certainly was a wine drinker. All right, well, with more fun facts right here, when you click that like, subscribe button down below on the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel, lots more games and bar talk as well. Sorry, right, Jersey Joe here. I hope you all learned something this episode because I know I did, and uh, you consume your wine responsibly, and I'll see you next time, I hope.